How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Tuesday, and it would have been said, what's going on people, hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe, what is Tuesday, anyway, I've been fighting with myself with a little bit of depression and stuff, you know, when I did the video of referencing Young Mazi yesterday, it really bothered me a lot, because I feel so, in a certain kind of way, that I could have kind of talked to him and stuff, you know, out of all the negativity that was surrounding him and stuff, you know, I know I probably couldn't because of, you know, a lot of times I feel so when people get to a certain status that they kind of don't know who to trust and stuff. Jabril, 28 years old. Which I can understand and stuff, and here it is, they tried to kill him one time before, and it ended up killing him and stuff, and, you know, I sit back and I watched him before he got murdered, and it's weird, because now I get a chance to see him now, well, not see him, but, you know, here that he's now dead and stuff, and, I don't know, I don't even know him, but it's like, I'm mourning his death, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I feel like I'm mourning his death and stuff. Because I watched him and stuff, you know, I watched him in his, in his attic and stuff, and here it is, he's murdered and stuff, and it's like, I don't know, it was like, I just feel as though I lost a friend, and it's so weird because I don't even know this guy, and I'm like, I'm, I've been so depressed, like, all last night and all this morning, and it's like, I've been trying to hold myself together, you know what I mean? And you know me, I love to eat. I haven't eaten today. It's like, I'm just so hurt. Like, I just don't get it. You know, no, no, things don't pose to make sense all the time. I just don't understand what happened. It, it, this is rap and stuff, and it's the rap game. Why can't y'all just battle each other with lyrics and stuff? Why does it have to be a murder and stuff? So now it's like, every time I see a rap person, person who raps, it's like anything he does as far as trying to get his life out there, he could be murdered and stuff. And I don't understand this whole thing, you know what I mean? Something like, will I be murdered because I'm out here doing videos? And will I be next? Will I be a target? They've killed people that blogged and stuff as well. You know, it just become like, what the hell? You know, because my thing is this, the people are trying to get to their money. The struggle is real. You got to fight this, you got to fight that. And here it is, you get a bullet, you get murdered and stuff, and it's like, uh, I don't get it. I just don't get it, you know, and here it is, a guy, really nice looking and stuff, and trying to push his music. He got four kids by different girls and stuff like that. He was like, I got to change my life because I got these babies, and he basically wanted to go up, let his kids stuff, he let them know, you know, he loved his kids stuff. 
And the thing about it is that they killed them. You know, and then I'm like, you know, and it's like, do you think it was set up? Well, you know how I do. Just my opinion. I always feel like you need to watch those friends, you know, and I don't know who his friends was. But the thing about it was saying he was very active as far as getting online, as far as the media and stuff, letting people know where he was going and letting people know where that, you know. I guess because it's all about, um, you know, you let media as far as you get your money and stuff because you let them feel as though they got that contact, what they call the report. When a person feels as though they're really close to you, they kind of get like, they could um, feel like they know you and stuff. And here it is trying to do, of course, trying to do some marketing and stuff. And yeah, someone's watching him, but they're wanting that and stuff. And I talked about that before, you know, this is why I don't really blog when I go out and stuff. And I don't let people know where I'm going because I feel like scariness about it, you know. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, everybody who watch your video don't like you. Share your people who like you, share people that may understand you. Share you have people that may rock with you, but you have some people that don't care for you, and some people feel as though you need to die. You know. I don't know. I'm just so drained. Like, ugh. I just feel like sometimes I think I just been asleep. Like I ain't been awoke. You know what I mean? Like I'm just like, I need some positivity. Like I can't keep you know, keep getting taking all this negative stuff and I stay away and I go outside. So I went for a walk, and then I'm watching people who are doing drugs, and I'm watching people set, showing other guys where they end. I'm, I'm watching this whole thing, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting surrounded by these guys that's basically running around here to doing their thing, and I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm walking in the middle of a gang, I don't know if I'm walking in the middle of a, a, a cell, I don't know what I'm walking into, and it's like, uh, I don't know, I don't know anymore. Um, and I'm trying so hard not to go into the deep depression, but it's just that when I see this boy that got murdered yesterday, it just, it was like, I think the, like the last straw that I needed to make me just say the hell with it all. It's like, I'm just tired of this. Like, I, I can't take seeing something more negative and then to kill him. I just can't. It just ne it just don't make any sense to me. But I'm gonna tell you this before I start crying because I feel it coming. If you're out there and stuff, let me tell you something. You do not have to get the last word. Let somebody else get the last word. If they want to feel like it's that important for them to get the last word, let, and I'm not saying this to reference him, but I'm just saying to you, to me, to you, because I don't want it to happen to you, let people get the last word. Sometimes getting the last word is not worth it. Sometimes you just got, sometimes it's best to be a, what they call it, a punk, and live and run to being a hero and dying. You know, because the thing about it is that people really don't care about you. And here it is, you may be ready to walk up with somebody, use your hands, and they pull out a gun and just shoot you and you know, and, uh, I don't need, anyway, I'm sorry, I am so drained, I, I'm, I'm so drained, like, I, I just can't understand why he had to die, you could have got to argue with him, you could have battled him on the music, you could have battled him on the forefront, no, you can't even have a fist fight, but you had to shoot him. 25 shots to just kill him. That was intentionally, he was the target just to murder him. And for what? Now today's going on and y'all be doing your thing laughing and stuff. And this man, his parent family is about to put him in the ground as far as being buried. And for what? Because of a music career. Uh, anyway. I'm, 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 I'm. 
just be safe, okay? I know, but you I love you. And I want to thank you for watching this video.